Welcome, welcome. In this video, we're going to cover outbound links or outbound clicks reporting from Google Analytics 4 in the Google Analytics 4 interface as well as in Google Data Studio. And we'll touch a little bit on why one might be better than the other. If you still need outbound links tracking or reporting in Google Analytics, Universal Analytics, you can take a look at the link in the description where we cover tracking and configuring tracking in Tag Manager so you can get an idea of where to find that data in the GA Universal Analytics interface. Now for Google Analytics 4, you want to make sure that you have the tracking for outbound links enabled. And we'll do that by going in the left corner here, the lower left corner, and click on Admin. And we're going to check Enhanced Measurement to make sure that's enabled. So in the Property column, click on Data Streams and select the data stream that you're working with. And here's the Enhanced Measurement section. You want to make sure this is toggled on and click on all the items that are being measured and you can see that outbound links is included. If it's not included, you can click on this gear icon to make sure that it's enabled. So save that and then click out of that and it will track your outbound links automatically as events. And where you would find that is under reports from the left navigation here. And from this report menu that appears here on the left, click on engagement and then click on events. And this will load the events overview report. So you can see the events over time and these charts as well as this data table. Now, where you would find this is under the click event. So if we click on click, then it brings us to this report. So we can scroll down and it gives us this section. As you can see, the thing with this link clicks report is that it's difficult to read. You can't tell what the actual links are without hovering over them. But you can fix this in Google Analytics 4 by using the Explore Reports. So in this left navigation, click on Explore and create a freeform report. And this is where we can configure an outbound links report. So while this loads, if we look at the documentation for automatically collected events in GA4 and see what we have for click events, click events fire or are tracked when a user clicks on a link that leads them away from the current domain. So in our freeform report, that's exactly what we need. And here we have this table here, but we're going to change this up. So we're going to get rid of city and replace that with link URL. So in the dimension section here, click on this plus icon and type in link and then look for link URL. So check that off and then in the upper right corner here click on import. And then we'll drag the newly added dimension to rows. And we'll scroll down to the column section and remove device category for values We'll replace active users with event count. 
So we'll drag this over here on top of active users to replace it. And we can see our link clicks. Now we'll also add a filter for event name. So we can click on that area and choose event name and scroll down to configure the filter. So click on match type and select exactly matches and in the expression enter click. So it matches that suggestion there and then we can click on apply. Now this will update our report to only show us the outbound link clicks. In this freeform report, we can see the host name of the outbound links, but we still can't see the full link URL without hovering over each line item. So we're going to go over to Google Data Studio. And in this report here, we're already in the edit mode. And we'll click on add a chart at the top and click on table. And then we'll create our table in the space down here. We're just going to take up pretty much the whole width. And then in our configuration area on the right, we'll make sure our data source is for our GA4 property. And for dimension, we'll change this date to event name. And then for the metric, we'll change it to event count. So right now we see all of the events that have been tracked. And we see our click event here for the outbound links. And what we're going to do is if you try to change it and search for link URL, you'll notice that there's no dimension there. Now you might have noticed that there is something for link, but that's because I created a custom dimension in GA4 beforehand. So let's take a look at how we'll do this. We'll go back to GA4. And before we do that, let's just name this report outbound links. And we'll name this tab outbound freeform. Now we'll go into our left navigation here and click on configure. And this is where we'll go into custom dimensions and create one for our link URL. So click on create custom dimensions We'll name this simply link, keep the scope at event. And then for event parameter, we'll look for link URL. But I've already created a custom dimension for link here. So that's why it's giving us this error message and we also have the same error message for link URL because this already exists for the link custom dimension. So as you can see, the link custom dimension was already created. And once you have this created in Google Data Studio, what you need to do is reconnect the 
Google Analytics data source. So in order to do that, click on resource from the menu, manage added data sources, select the data source that you want to work with and click on edit. And then click on edit connection and click on reconnect. When you click on reconnect, it'll show you the new configuration, any configuration changes, and new fields. So if you were to create a new custom dimension for, for links, then it would appear under new fields. Then you would click on apply, but I'm just going to click on cancel. And that would allow you to work with that new custom dimension. So now you can change the dimension to the new link custom dimension. So for us, it's just simply link. We can choose that for the dimension. And then for the metric, we're going to look for event count. So now this gives us the number of link clicks with the event count and we're going to create a filter for this table so that it only gives us the outbound link clicks. So we'll name this outbound clicks, include, select a field, and we'll look for event name. And for the condition, we'll choose equal to and input click. We'll save it and this table will update the data to only show us the outbound link clicks. And you can expand this column so you can see the full URL. Now just remember that if you just created this custom dimension, remember that it could take up to 24 hours for data to report to this table. But we're just going to do one more thing here and that is to add a title for this table. So we just copy this top downloads title and drag it over here and then name it outbound link clicks. So that's how you add it to Google Data Studio. As you can see, it's a bit cleaner and it's easier to read than what you see in GA4. So if you found this video helpful, Give it a like and if you want more content around web analytics, creating reports and dashboards, then subscribe to the channel.